So I am going to make a video about breastfeeding um, during cancer and breastfeeding um, during cancer treatment. People will uh, ask me um, if I'm still breastfeeding or when they find out rather that I'm still breastfeeding, their response is, wow. Well, I, I would just like to put out there that for a living, I um, am a breastfeeding educator, so um, no, I'm, I'm not an IBCLC or anything. Um, hopefully one day I will be. That That's my goal anyways, is to work up to um, to be an IBCLC. Right now, I'm a breastfeeding peer counselor um, for my local wake office. It is it's so nice to actually like be um, wanting to go to work in the morning and be happy when you come home from work. I'm so glad that I finally have a job that I absolutely love. Breastfeeding has um, always interested me. I had a wonderful breastfeeding relationship with my son in the beginning. We did struggle and um, we made it through, we pushed through and um, I breastfed him for 15 months. He self weaned on his own with Amelia. I had her a little early and um, due to needing to be, uh, needing to have surgery. And so um, they induced me at 37 weeks. So she was just a few weeks early and she um, was a little tiny baby. She was five pounds, 15 ounces. But after she was born, uh, we did skin to skin and she latched immediately. We have had a really good breastfeeding relationship. I didn't expect my surgery to um, be as intense as it was. I wasn't really expecting to lose half of my soft palate and need a feeding tube and I wasn't expecting to need radiation either. I was um, hoping that they'd be able to remove the tumor and um, it would come back with uh, clear margins and I wouldn't have to have any treatment. However, things don't always go your way and um, the cancer was a bit worse than what they also anticipated. The question that I get a lot is how were you able to not only breastfeed but maintain a supply? So um, after my surgery I was in the hospital for um, about five days and Amelia um, was with my husband and um, I wasn't able to breastfeed at the time because of the heavy medicines that I was on. So while I was in the hospital, I was pumping um, a lot. So like every two to three hours I was pumping and I just kept pumping and it was hard. I was very weak. Um, my supply did dip. I didn't have enough nutrition and I was sick. I wasn't with my baby. So yes, my supply did dip, but I continued to pump because um, breast milk works on supply and demand. So the more you pump, um, the more milk you're going to produce. I had um, milk stashed already that I was pumping and freezing. So she had um, milk. Um, breast milk and um, she had also donor milk from another mom who had donated and um, I am very thankful for that because I wanted her to have breast milk so um, that donor milk was really a blessing to us but I, I mean I came home on home health care and um, I really wasn't able to walk. Um, I had a feeding tube down my nose and um, I was sore and I was on heavy medication. Um, so we had worked a schedule out to where I would take my medicine at this time and it would be out of my system four hours later. So if I wanted to, I could nurse her or I could pump. It just depended how I felt if I was able to nurse her or not. No, because I was in a lot of pain. We did skin to skin and that was very helpful. And she, she at first was a little resistant 
to latching again because at that point she had got used to the bottle but um she did latch again i did however have to get um the ng tube removed and i had to get a peg tube in my abdomen so i um had a surgery to get the peg tube placed in my abdomen so i laid it in the hospital again for another few days away from Amelia and while I was in the hospital I worked with the lactation consultant a few of them actually and it really helped me um, I was at that point I was at a, uh, a time where I was almost ready to give up so the few weeks following that procedure was pretty rough I was so sore and I was in pain all the time from that peg tube I wasn't able to really position her how I needed to. So there for a good while I was just exclusively pumping and we would still latch her a couple times throughout the day but for the most part I was pumping and I was still recovering and I was still in my room most of the time. I was actually to the point where I was getting pretty depressed because I just I wanted to be with my baby and I didn't feel a bond with her to be completely honest. I there there was no bond. I felt like she was ripped away from me and all the medical crap, I was only able to focus on myself. And I felt very guilty for that. But <sighs> time went on and um, I just kept doing what I was doing. And I just kept pumping to maintain my supply. Now the question that a lot of people brought up was when I started radiation, how I was able to breastfeed her while undergoing radiation. Radiation doesn't go into the bloodstream. At least the radiation that I had did not go into the bloodstream. I had a head neck radiation. <laughs> For six weeks, I had radiation, Monday through Friday, every morning. And radiation is really, really rough. The head neck radiation is, it just sucks the life out of you. Most of the time while I was in radiation, I was able to just nurse her right from the breast. It was hard, but we just kept with it and there was one point towards the end of um, the radiation where they were wondering if I needed to continue to breastfeed because while you breastfeed you burn several calories a day like 500 or more. I was not tolerating my tooth beans. I was losing weight extremely fast and I was dehydrated. So they had to run fluids and she, like the doctor said, she was literally sucking the life out of me. But I just kept thinking, you know, I really just, I want her to have the best. I want her to have breast milk. I can't do much as a mother right now, physically, um, mentally. I was just um, unable to be a good mother. So if providing breast milk uh, was something I can do, I was going to do it. It made me feel like a good mom. I wanted to be involved, and at that point, I wasn't able to run around with my kids. I wasn't able to just get up and even change a diaper because I was that weak. Not even going to lie, it was probably the hardest thing I've done, and um, I have uh, been out of radiation for three months now, and we are successfully breastfeeding and supply has been adequate for her. I have been doing everything I can to maintain a supply and she has been thriving. I am so proud of myself and um, like I'm gonna get emotional about it, but I am just so proud of myself. I just kept thinking, you know, if her, any reason if anything happened to me um i just i would want her to know that i tried my best to provide the absolute best for her so um yeah i am pretty thankful that i didn't have to have chemo because with chemo i wouldn't have been able to um give her breast milk but i'm pretty sure if i had chemo i still would have pumped to maintain a supply and then um, when it was out of my system, I could continue to breastfeed her. There's just a message that I want to send out to, to mothers who are pregnant with cancer or who are about to have a baby. And if, if you're discouraged and you feel down because you feel like you can't breastfeed, there's definitely ways around it. Talk to your local lactation consultant and work with them closely because um, 
you can still do it. It's hard, but there are ways around it. Cancer shouldn't take everything away from you, and it it doesn't it doesn't have to. Don't let it control you. Just do what you want to do. <laughs> My story is not going to be exactly like um, your story if you have cancer. You know, there are different types of cancers. There are different medicines for cancer. My story might not like be like everyone else's. I definitely am lucky. And um, I just want to give hope to other moms. But look at her. She is just thriving. Such a good baby, a healthy baby. Uh, she's such a blessing. I love her so much. And I know, like I said earlier in the video, like I felt like I didn't have a bond with her. And I really didn't. I felt like I had postpartum depression. And, but now it's like we have this incredible bond. Anyways, uh, that's all for this video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.